This Fleet Equipment unscripted interview is presented by Hendrickson, a leading manufacturer of heavy-duty suspension systems and components to the global commercial transportation industry. Visit hendrickson-intl.com to learn more. Hi everyone, I'm Jason Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment, and welcome to Fleet Equipment Unscripted. Totally different today. We're doing something different. I'm bringing you footage from when I went down the Dallas, Texas. Peterbilt launched its new Model 589. And we got to check in with Jason Skoog, General Manager, Scott Newhouse, Chief Engineer, Jacob White, Product Marketing Manager, all about the new truck. We got our hands on it. We took it for a spin around the, uh, the test course down there at the Speedway. So we're going to go to that. So here it is. Details on the new Peterbilt 589. Check it out. First of all, front of the truck, it's that distinctive Peterbilt look, right? We got the aluminum surround, stainless steel grill, and you can see, like you mentioned previously, we brought back the rectangular grill pattern. But I think most importantly about it, the stainless steel. That makes sure that the truck, the heart of the truck is protected throughout its life, the engine and the cooling module. The cooling module is the same as our previous 389, so customers can easily transition into this product and not expect any performance degradation as they move to the new model. Another key factor that you see in our traditional model is our fender set, our fender supports, as you see here. But I think what's unique about the 589 is we've incorporated the daytime running lights here. Obviously, these daytime running lights provide our customers a lot of functional value, but it's a cool look and very distinct thing as you drive down the road. Because that's a key thing we found as we talked to these customers about this product. They want to, people to see them on the road. They want them to know they're in a Peterbilt, and this is just another characteristic that was shown that. The hood is all aluminum. We carried that through with the new model. Okay? We spent a lot of time, you've heard this, we spent a lot of time talking to customers, understanding what are the core values of the truck, and that's what we carried through, and the aluminum hood was one of those. You know, one of the things customers said is, this truck is gonna be out working for a long time. Not just the first customer, not the second, but often the third, fourth, they'll be out there for decades. And the aluminum hood is one of the things that allows this truck to be out there for that long. And they're gonna get damaged. That's what trucks do, they will get damaged. The beauty about aluminum is that you won't, that damage won't put you down on the side of the road. If it was to get banged up and you have to, you can use a mallet, put it back into place, continue your job, get your job done. And then later when you wanna replace it, the multiple piece design using the hug bolts allows a person to easily cut a certain any panel away, replace it. That reduces the cost, the, the uh, overall cost of the truck and the life cycle cost of the truck. Right, the customer. In addition, aluminum also it's it's a part of a core characteristic of Peterbilt being a lightweight product for our customers. As you work your way back on the truck, obviously you notice the cow mounted air cleaner. That's a, that was a big challenge on this truck, right? With the width laws, achieving a 15 inch diameter stainless steel air cleaner on the cowl and still meeting regulations was a significant challenge which the team overcome. One of the great values of this is it's easy access with a simple quarter turn, remove the top and service the air cleaner. And that's one of the, again, key values and core characteristics of the Peterbilt product and our traditional product is simple maintenance. Now I think as you keep going on, this is really where you're going to see the difference. The aluminum cab. We maintain the aluminum cab, and as we said, it's a wider cab, more spacious cab for the for the driver. And that's as you get in, you will see how roomy it is, and it provides some key comforts to the customer. Visibility. Almost 50% more visibility out of this cab than our current uh, 389. You'll see that with the greater, the larger windows as well as the larger mirrors. What's great about that is that's driver comfort and safety. The more comfortable the driver is behind the behind the wheel because they can see what's around them, the the more productive they are and the more safe they are. Also, the pedal package in the vehicle has been redesigned. Again, adding comfort to the driver, to the accelerator, the brake, and you have manual transmission. The clutch is easier to operate. And then finally, the noise. This is a quiet cab. This is a solid aluminum construction 
that has been designed for severe service. Every vehicle out there is designed for severe service application. That's durability and that's also a noise benefit. So driving down the road, the drivers will be more comfortable because they'll be quieter. As you get in, you saw some of the features that Jake pointed out earlier about the aluminum and wood accents. And I think when you get in there, you will realize the, be the benefit to our drivers as you can more easily move between the large cab and the sleeper. The opening between the two is significantly larger, making it very easy to get in and out, and ultimately makes your home away from home that much larger. So I think you guys are gonna be excited when you get into this truck. And I'll, I, this is my favorite part. My favorite part of this truck is when you get behind the wheel, you look over and you see that hood, you get the comfort of the new interior, and even with all that, you still know you're in a classic, traditional product, the quiet ride, and it's a really excited for people to get to see this new uh, merging of traditional product with new technology and a new cab. I think that's th this is one of the things that's extremely important that we that we did when we came to the 589 because as you know, you look at our the door the skin of the door on our 579 or 567. If you put this off, put that door skin on this truck, it fails. The door and how it you can see the line right. The line goes from the door all the way through to the huck seam right there. And that's just, I mean, as you think about things that you, you just absolutely have to do to get this truck right, that's that's one of the things that we had to do. Uh, way back at the back here, so the red truck at the very back there has our legendary red paint color, which is kind of a Peterbilt signature premium color. Uh, it's equipped with an MX-13 engine and an 18-speed uh, manual transmission. The next truck is, uh, is one I... I when we decided we were gonna use this one for the event, I thought, what's a paint scheme that the people are gonna love? And so we put what we call our Seminole paint scheme on it, which is a classic Peterbilt scheme with our legendary brown and legendary tan signature colors. Uh, very, very beautiful, and um, I'm pretty sure we sold some last night. <laughs> yeah, that's a factory paint scheme. It just kind of demonstrates the level of customization that's, that's actually very common on this platform. Yeah, it's very, very common for us to do two-tone paint schemes at the factory. That's they've got a whole, they've got a really neat laser paint. Um, maybe one day we'll have another conversation about that. But very, very neat. Um, it's a 72-inch high roof sleeper again, MX13, and this one also has an 18-speed manual. Um, the truck right here that Scott just walked around is a 80-inch sleeper. Um, it also has an MX-13 engine. That one has our TX-18 automated manual transmission. So I'd encourage you to, um, to drive that one if you haven't had a chance to experience the 18-speed automated transmission. It, it really is the future. After that is our legendary package, which again is another MX-13 18-speed manual truck. It has a 58-inch low roof sleeper. And it's really set up as a pride and polish show truck. We saw a ton of those sleepers over out, out front the other day. Um, encourage you to, to get in that one and, and really feel the quality of that. And then on the front there is a day cab, which is, is uh, these trucks get spec as show trucks and those kinds of things, but also a lot of work trucks like you heard the guys talk about in there. And so that's an example of a short hood work truck. You'd see that hauling rocks um, or sand and gravel. That, again, that one's another MX-13 18-speed manual transmission. Um, all platinum ex interiors, which is the highest trim level, except for the day cab, which has our Premier interior. And really the difference there is the Premier has molding color dash panels to help hide wear for those tough jobs.